A 1-1 draw between Leicester City and Manchester United. It could have been 2-1 with three points swinging the way of Leicester, but uh, with a disallowed goal, both sides will have to share one point. Aaron Atide and Stevie Nickel with you. Stevie, is this one point shared uh, a fair result? Yeah, I think so. Um, listen, there's nothing to say about the first half. It was just pretty dreadful, so... If we talk about the second half, I guess both sides looked as though they could go and win it uh, because the game the game really opened up. Uh, obviously, Leicester going ahead only for two minutes, though. Um, and then uh, Fred equalising. I guess overall it was the right result. Uh, I think the referee made the right decision with the disallowed goal you were talking about. We what seven minutes to go. There's no question that Varane was fouled by Madison and... Uh, sorry. Uh, Ian Acho, in my opinion, before Madison put it in the back of the net. So I think it's a fair result. Uh, and I think it probably, the problem, this game showed us exactly what these two teams are right now. They're, they're, at times can pass the ball well, but they lack, they lack any cohesion and real flair in the final third. So... No surprise, I guess both of these teams, in my opinion, are going to finish outside the, the top four. Probably more of a surprise Man United finishing outside it. But uh, certainly the way they're going, they will be. They're, they're, what, four points behind Arsenal, and Arsenal's got a game in hand. Sorry, two games in hand. Uh, and they're, they're behind Tottenham as well. So it doesn't look like Manchester United are going to get in the top four. And, and right now, in sixth position, they, they actually might they might end up not being in Europe at all. Which, by the way, I don't think would be the worst thing that ever happened. Look at Chelsea a couple of, a couple of years ago under Conte, who had no European football whatsoever, and, and it just made them stronger. And they, go and won, they won the Premier League that year. So I don't think it would be the worst thing that ever happened to Man United to not be in Europe next year. It would just be kind of weird to see Cristiano Ronaldo not in any European football. I think that that would be the one thing that would stand out the most uh, if Manchester United doesn't make it there. And the one thing that maybe Ralph Rangnick would be looking at at the end of this match and at the end of a lot of the matches that you see from Manchester United is that for the last 10 minutes, they look like a, an entirely different team. You see the energy picking up. You see them pushing the pace a little bit further. Stevie, how do you get those last 10 minutes and get 80 more of that in one match? Unfortunately, with a team like Manchester United, it's it only starts that energy only appears when they get desperate, and you can't play desperate desperation football for ninety minutes because you'll never last. So, you know that, and, and what you're talking about is actually one of the worst things about a side like United, when for ten minutes all of a sudden you see an energy and a desire that makes you think. Where was this for the last 80? That is not a good thing. So, yeah, again, everything we're seeing right now from United is everything that's wrong with them, including what you just said. For 10 minutes, they had more energy than, than we've seen in the, the first 80. That's not good. On the next lineup on their schedules, Everton, Norwich, Liverpool and Arsenal, is this how you're seeing this playing out, that maybe indeed European football is off of the table with those four matches, four out of their next eight looking? Well, regardless of the opposition, you can't turn around and say to yourself, oh, Man United have won today. That's, that, that is just the honest truth. Uh, and that means that, yes, of course, when you look at it on paper, Norwich, Everton, games like that, it should be a formality. But right now, you don't know what you're getting from Manchester United. So you can't rely on three points against anybody. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.